What is going on, everyone? My name is Hydrox and I am Coach of Jersey Blue Kinglers, and this is the final week of the LET season. Uh, we are currently one in seven, I think, or one in six, one of those things. And this is our last chance to grab a win this season. So we will see if we can do it. So they brought, let's see, an Amorous is here, Weavile's here, Weavile's, yes. Did not bring Slowking like I thought they might. Okay. Volcanion, Sandy Shocks, Gudra, and Decidueye. Okay. I think that most likely, I kind of want to, so first thing I noticed is they don't have a ghost type. They did not bring their ghost type, so Bat hopefully will be able to do good work later on. But I am going to lead Lady, I think. Lady has an expert belt. So basically what I, my dream scenario here at the beginning is to be able to try to catch them off guard with uh, my Ground terror type Miss Magius. Um, we'll see how that goes. So we already wish good luck, have fun to our opponent. Um, our opponent is Pokey Baldy, and who is coach of the Dundee Darmanitans, who has an amazing team that includes these six mons. And let's see how the battle goes. We are leading. The Ruffles, which is Bird versus Armis Magius. I don't hate this. Um, going ground type isn't a good option here. Um, so, what happens if we hit Deagleam? Who comes in? They switch, probably. Um, I think I'm just going to say an ND Gleam. I think they might want to stay in. I go for like a sucker punch or something. <clears throat> Apologies, let me grab some order. My voice sounds a little hoarse right now. Yeah, they stay in triple arrows. We live, <laughs> but take a whole lot of day. Oh, we flinch. Oh, it's so unlucky. Triple Arrows is a grass move, I guess. Because that's got to be... Um... No, it's a fighting type move. Hmm. Hmm. I think, unfortunately, we just go down here, right? Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, that that's really... It has a 30% flinch weight. Flinch weight. Flinch rate, so... There was that chance, but it is just unfortunate that that proxied. Because it would have been really nice to get some damage off in this thing. Especially since we had, um, like, good moves for it, too. So, we're going to bring in Finch, probably, or do we bring in Scizor? Let's bring in Scizor. And we're going to Swords Dance with Scizor here. Um, because even if they triple arrows, I don't think that does enough damage to warrant... I shouldn't do half. I guess it could flinch again, which would stink. Please do not flinch. Oh, 
Oh, he flinched again, dude. Wow. Okay. That is very unlucky. Um... This is my only shot, I think. Is doing this now. And let me get crit there too, I was just messaging my opponent. Um, this has been very unlucky. Um... I'm gonna try a T wave here. Let's <laughs> do something to stop this menace. Hopefully, he gets parried here. Would be so nice. And it doesn't happen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Very unlucky thus far for us, I'd argue. Um. So this is really hard to pivot around now. Um, I think this is the only thing I can do. Um, We're just gonna do it. We're gonna terrestrialize Boom Burst here. They are steel type, so this is not gonna do a lot. They resist normal typing. And their spadef is awesome, so. <laughs> yeah, it does nothing. Kind of got to hope you're attacking on the physical side. I actually don't think you're going to be, though. You're going to be special, aren't you? Yeah, there's no reason for it to be physical. Yeah, this has been a very unfortunate turn of events for me so far. I just kind of got to hope we live a turn. Body press. So we do pick the right mon to come in at least. We're gonna get lefties back. So we are gonna click. I really wanna click Stealth Rock. Do I do it? Yeah, we click Stealth Rock. Because I'm hoping we can punish the switches a little bit. That's really the best I think I'm gonna be able to do here. Because I think they swap here into maybe Shandy, Sandy Shocks. Um, Sandy Shocks is electric ground. They stay in. Hmm. Dragon Tail will actually make me switch out. Which is what that move does. So we're going to have to see it's Scizor who comes in. And none of my moves um, are really worthwhile here. Um, I feel like I almost kind of had to stay in, though. Man, this is rough so far. Um, they click, click Dragon Tail again. 
Um, this is getting very uh, unlucky thus far. I don't. I think I just have to swap Minecraft right back in and hope they don't click Dragon Tail again. Uh, if they click Dragon Tail again, unlucky. Um, so so far. They've clicked. They click flamethrower this time. We should resist that pretty well. Um, hey, we don't get burned either, which is nice. Um, so we have two options. So we could see if Gudra's gonna stay in. We want to click salt here. I think we click salt here, yeah. They withdrew. So whatever comes in takes a salt here. Which is ruffles. So we've seen you before. You are... This Pokemon. So, which doesn't do a lot, but it will start to... You know... We'll start to chip it down a little bit. So they want to stay... Uh, that does a good amount of chip. Um, so I, there's a part of me that wants to swap in to Fimshear, but it's not a safe swap. So I have to go back into Bat. Where do I go? Scizor here. I don't know. I think Bat is my only, like, safe swap here. And then I think we have to go for, like, Air Slash and not go for a Boom Burst strategy. Because we're going to take a triple arrows here. Oh, I'm just realizing this is a really bad... Oh, it's paralyzed. Okay, good. That we finally get something going our way. Um, we're going to click Air Slash here, I think. Boom Burst probably gets the KO, and I think that's what I'd rather be locked into. Actually, no, we're just gonna air slash. Yeah, because this is Gudra again. <laughs> it does, also does pretty much nothing. Um, I think they swap... I think, like, if I was them, I'd click Dragon Tail here, knowing that... Um, Dragon Tail could miss, though. Right? They click Earthquake, which should do a lot of damage. Yeah. So we're actually going to try to recover this turn, I think. Um, to try to get some HP back. But it is good to know that pretty much we are just kind of... Okay, we're going to get the recover off, and it's going to be triple arrows again. All right, Ruffles. Yeah, so we're just playing this... <clears throat> We're back at full. Um, I'm swapping Scizor in this time. Because I think Scizor should be able to outspeed normally to click the Aerial Ace here. And hope this does not crit. So I think we outspeed here. I think we can click the Aerial Ace. They probably switch. Um, I. It's very unfortunate um, thus far, this battle. They get paralyzed, so they would have gone first. But Scissor should be able to pick up the KO here. So we get one back. <laughs> okay. So, 
This isn't going to be Weavile. It's going to be Sandy Shocks, probably. Um, Seriously, would be so nice to keep around for both those ones. So depending on who this is, we'll see who we swap in. I would guess Sandy Shocks. I think that's the hardest one for me to deal with. Truthfully. Um... Electric ground type, Sandy Shock, Bubbles, which would be Volcanium? Yeah, okay. Volcanium does take a decent amount of chip here. Um, I think we bring Bad in here and we start getting ready. So I think we bring Bat in here. Um, hopefully, Bat can live whatever hit this is. And then we double switch into Garganackle. Flame Charge shouldn't come close to KOing us. But they do, their speed does go up. So maybe, uh, do I do the play still? Or do I think that they're gonna just, we're gonna click Boom Burst. I want it, if they swap into Gudra here, very well played. That's almost what I did. They're swapping in the Gudra. We're getting the tiniest little ship on Gudra then, is what this will mean. They're taking a while. Uh, part of me really hopes they stay in, um, but I doubt that that's the decision they're going to make. They do stay in. Do they live this somehow? No, okay. And we get a crit. Apologies for the crit. We don't like to see crits. I'm, I'll have to look to see what your special defense was to see if that mattered. All right, let's see. I think I'm, I don't know if it mattered. Uh, it was probably close because we are boom burst. Um, normal terrestrialize. What is what stats going up? Speed. Okay. Does it show how much your speed goes up? No. Okay. I think this is the play I'm going to have to make. Because I have to hope that an overheat... We can live whatever this is. Um, T-Bolt we should live. And then we should be able to hit an overheat. Um, I gotta think the Choice Scarf Chiyu is faster. Choice Scarf Chiyu is not faster. Very unfortunate that Chiyu... I really thought that Chiyu could outspeed there.
I think that's unfortunately going to be game. Because I think I would need them to, like, decide they want to switch out of this. Um, damn. Yeah, we're not going to live this because this is the decision I'm making. Since Shock's KO, Chiyu. Hi. Unfortunately, this season, I've kind of wasted Chiyu. Uh, Judo's going to outspeed here and get the KO. This is going to be game. Um, the closest way I can get a KO is the only shot I have. Um, it, it's not going to work. But I would have to be able to get this recover off somehow. This isn't going to happen. They just click Earth Power. KOs. Noivern. Eh, it's just not enough damage. Yeah, unfortunately, just not enough. GG to Baldi. GG. Oh. Edit. There we go. It caps off a very unfortunate season for us. Um, that brings us... We were the team in last place in the league. I was really hoping to try to win and not be in dead last place. But, unfortunately, it's how the cookie crumbles. We get, I think, only two KOs, so I think we finish the season at 1 in 8 with a minus 20, like 4, 26 differential. Um, <clears throat> all in all, I, like, I've had fun playing this draft league. I look forward to playing again. Probably, unfortunately, it's going to be down in division. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I've made a lot of mistakes this season in battle, um, maybe even in the draft. Uh, I could have probably drafted a little bit better uh, for my own play style. I don't think I drafted a bad Pokemon team. But, I, you know, I haven't played the best. Um, the beginning of this battle, I feel like I got a little unlucky. Um, because turn one, we flinch. And if I was able to hit a D-Gleam off, that ease, that, like, definitely does, like, 75%. And then that Pokemon is now within range of a Bullet Punch probably at any point. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, I'm sure there's more I could, like, dive into. Um, but we don't need any more woe is me. Uh, we unfortunately did not do too great this season. We are in another draft league right now. The PBAL. Draft League Season 11 Midnight Division. Um, and I'm currently 0-2 in that division, or that as well. Um, by the time this uploads, I will have played one more battle. Um, so hopefully it's a 1-2 record and not an 0-3 record, because this season has been a little rough on me. Um, yeah, sometimes it's just someone has to lose every week. Um, and unfortunately, 
eight out of nine times it was me <laughs> so thank you all for watching and we will catch you next time i hope you enjoy the content i'll see you guys